What has happened in chemistry is that there has been this inertia of people doing chemistry the same way for hundreds of years because it's, this is a model of apprenticeship. The advisor tells the student how to do things. The student doesn't really question if that's the right way of doing it or not. So what we're doing in this program is saying, well, wait a second. Why, during the fourth industrial revolution, we have all these new tools, especially artificial intelligence and robotics, that can transform the way we do science. So functionally, we are, we're going to change the scientific discovery process. You know, this is not about the simple hypothesis-driven research, loops of iteration. It's, it's about fundamentally challenging how we go about the scientific discovery process in chemical space. It is believed um, that you know, developing a new material takes about $10 million in 10 years, roughly, order of magnitude, right? It is because all this chemistry is done by hand and it's done in a very time inefficient fashion. Several areas of science have been transformed by the use of machinery. The focus of what we're talking here is really building out the tools, platforms, and methods of, of how we go into chemical discovery. Um, but that's the thing. Chemistry sits as a central science to almost anything. Health, materials, energy. So we're talking about not only changing how one goes and does discovery in chemical science, but the feedback, the, the, the spill-off from that means we can affect things like um, energy storage, energy conversion from um, uh, solar, uh, new pharmaceutical drugs, new textiles. One of the things that we want is that any educated or trained person that has a molecular dream that imagines a potential solution to a problem in the world has easy access to a machine that we could call it like a molecular maker lab that you write what molecule you want and it will tell you what are the reagents that you need it will put them together, make small quantities of this material, and then go and test it. You know, people new to the CIFAR program don't really what, know what to make of it. You know, it's the first time they've heard of it. The thing that's enabling about this is it's allowing us to break down borders and, and really put many different people in the same room and giving them free reign to discuss. You know, this, is, this is giving people the opportunity to, uh, to make these sort of connections, long-standing connections, and also, again, it, it provides um, a flag for people to rally around that we are CIFAR fellows.